thank you for joining me. My name is Vani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions, Taurus. I'm getting ready to dive right in there. There we have it. And your first card out, Taurus. The King of Cups. This is an energy of someone who has balanced his emotion, Taurus. This is someone who is able to provide balance to any situation. This is someone who loves you, Taurus, sitting in your hopes with a page of wands, hoping to go on some adventure, Taurus. Maybe with, a, with your balanced emotions, this is being able to have mastery over your emotions. Be able to lead with that onto some kind of adventure. Now the energy that's balancing you, Taurus, is the hanged man. This is a period of pause. This is a period of time that has been gifted to you in order for you to look at things from a different perspective, Maybe even from a calmer perspective, Taurus, understand it differently. With the Hierophant, we're talking about you, Taurus, or we could be talking about a long-term commitment, something that might be traditional. This talks about spiritual teachings, Taurus, traditional teachings, Everything that has come before that shapes us, maybe having to have a different perspective regarding a long-term commitment. Well, Taurus, what it is, is speaking from life experience that sits in your fears, talking about everything that has shaped you, is invoking your fear. Now what you should know, Taurus, if there's a choice to make, specifically if it's an emotional one, you are going to choose exactly right. The stars will guide you. You will be guided, Taurus. In your hidden position is something that you might be holding on to, Taurus. This might be a secret. Wow. Now you, in your current position, sit with the Ten of Swords. Despair. This is being at the edge of your mind space. This might be a painful ending, Taurus. With the Ten of Swords, the worst is over. This might be you trying to find some balance. After feeling this despair, wow, oh, this is you finding your strength and resilience, Taurus. This is you finding your strength and resilience by reaching to your inner child, by playing more, perhaps, spending more time outdoors. The energy that balances you, Taurus, in your current environment is one of reciprocity. This is not just being able to be seen and heard. This is sharing. This is being able to share your emotions, being able to be heard in that way. In the physical world, Taurus, the Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. This is having the kind of reciprocity that you wished for. Now remember, you, you have decided already what it is. 
you understood what it is, Taurus. As the king of swords in your mind space, having to lead with that wisdom. This is you looking at it from a different perspective, using the ten of swords energy in order to have your epiphany, Taurus, something that you know that you're going to have to speak about. This is something that brings you wish fulfillment. Now what you should know, Taurus, from following from the last reading. This is Empress Energy. This is putting something out there, giving birth to creation, giving it the space in which to grow. This is being a source of inspiration to us, being fearless, unconditionally accepting of others. This is the despair that's attached to something that you have nurtured, Taurus. In your hidden position is the Page of Pentacles, a small beginning in the physical world. This is what the secret is about, Taurus. Maybe it's a secret because you don't know it yet. Now, what has brought you here, Taurus, was a new beginning in terms of your finances. Now, this could have been your recent past. This could be maybe a distant past where the energy is repeating in your current environment so that you can find your inner strength, your inner resolve. This was a new beginning, Taurus by putting something out into creation with the Queen of Wands being at your creative peak, being fearless. This is using the strength that you gained from embodying the energy to find your inner limits currently, Taurus. The energy taking you into the future is the King of Wands. Now this is the feminine embodiment of the King. With the King of Wands, someone who is able to beat her own path. Now, she's doing this on the back of some kind of reciprocity. It is the energy of reciprocity that fuels her to be able to create Taurus. Now where this takes you to another nine Taurus, nearing the end of some kind of completion. With the nine of wands, this is talking about creating, but creating from the perspective that you have been wounded in some way. This is being battle scarred and persevering regardless of what it is allowing your passions to rule, Taurus. Well, wherever this takes you, wherever this new understanding takes you, you can't yet see the way forward, Taurus. Something is standing in your way. Now, this might be you trying to make peace of it, stilling your mind and trying to find what it is through your intuition. Wow. A choice that you make, Taurus, leads to a new beginning. In your hidden position is the Emperor, an embodiment of all of the kings. Now with the Emperor, we're talking about someone who has a desire to build a better world. Someone who governs with authority, structure, determination. Someone who uses a balanced power and wisdom to lead Taurus. Wow. Now your outcome, whatever that new beginning in terms of your finances was in the past Taurus, 
This is you seeing your ships come in with the Three of Wands. This is your luck, your opportunity. We could be talking about some kind of teamwork. Wow. Something related to the psychic world. Something that requires you to create Taurus. Remember that. Go on and create. With the High Priestess, this is delving into the psychic world, delving into the spiritual world, trying to see what is beyond the surface. With the Seven of Pentacles, we talk about a period of waiting, Taurus, waiting for what you have put in to bear some fruit. With the Seven of Pentacles, we could be talking about you leaning on a long-term investment in some way, Taurus. With judgment, whatever it is you create allows for a transformation, Taurus. With judgment, the end of an old way is over. The beginning of something entirely new is almost upon you. Wow. With the emperor leading others, putting in the thought process and structure in order to be able to lead others. Taurus, you do not see this coming. This is where that transformation leads. What you should know is you are going to put in all of the work, Taurus. With the Eight of Pentacles, we are talking about commitment, hard work, diligence. This is talking about dedication and sacrifice. And in your hidden position, you are going to be hyper-focused, Taurus. Whatever it is you are creating, whatever it is that you are putting out there, you are going to put all your attention on it. The card under the deck is the King of Wands. Wow, the king who beats his own path. This is... A king who is possibly in your energy, maybe attached to the emperor energy and the king of cups. Someone who's going to be able to match you, Taurus, on all levels. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Until your next one, bye for now.